Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you are in the world. My name is Chef Mac Daddy, and welcome to Mac Daddy's Divine Kitchen. Today I will be making a classic guacamole. This is not my recipe. I learned this in one of our uh, famous uh, grocery stores here. There was a young lady from Mexico. She was actually making guacamole fresh so that you can buy it. And I absolutely love this grocery, grocery store's guacamole. And knowing that I can get the exact recipe, I was so excited. So I took out a pen and paper and started writing out a recipe. And this is the exact recipe in that particular store. So what I'm using, I'm going to my garden right now and I'm going to pick a nice big jalapeno pepper. Um, this is, these are, I have mammoth jalapeno peppers growing in my garden. I mean, they are huge. And what I'm gonna do is, um, I guess I'm not gonna, I'm gonna cut one more. Cause you know, I wanna taste after I use a mammoth. This is my first time growing mammoth jalapeno peppers in my garden. Um, so it's sort of uh, exciting. They're growing like mad. I've been, I gave a lot away. And I'm gonna cut some fresh cilantro. I'm just gonna grab a big bunch. I don't know how much I'm grabbing. You know, it's probably like when you cut it up, uh, it's probably about roughly, I'm using two cups, and I'm gonna be using six avocados, six to seven avocados. Keep in mind, I have uh, a party and I have a get I have a guest of six or seven that's coming over, and I want to have a little guacamole to eat throughout the week. Uh, one of the fascinating things about this that I really love is that uh, this dish is not only just delicious, but it's really healthy and packed with nutrition. I started eating uh, guacamole on toast. That's sort of a popular phase going on in the USA right now, and I kid you not, I lost ten pounds in one week. So um, this recipe, I mean, is really delicious, packed with protein, packed with uh, lots of nutrition. You can't go wrong with that. So anyway, let's get back to this. Uh, so the avocado I'm using is six to seven. Now just a little secret, when you are picking your avocados in the store, try to pick something in the middle, especially if you go to the Latino stores, it's used to a large bin of guacamole. I like for it to be a little small stem on my guacamole. I mean, not my guacamole, but on my avocados, because it just shows it's a little bit more fresh. Uh, make sure you look for a dark avocado. Give it just a light squeeze. It shouldn't be too soft. It shouldn't be too tough. It should be just medium, so that when you get home, if you're not going to make it right away, then it sort of softens up as it, you know, as you know, until you're ready to use it. So what you do is I'm going to cut this right down the center. And I'm just gonna run it around my knife. And after I've run it around my knife, what you do is you're just gonna give it a little twist and it just is perfectly cut. Take your knife and you're gonna whack the seed. And the seed is gonna stick to the knife and you just simply give it a little twist on your avocado and pull it out. And then scar the seed and put it in the garbage if you're not gonna grow an avocado tree. And then what you do next is you take a spoon, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the flush that's on the center, and then just uh, you just roll your uh, spoon around the, uh, uh, the edges of the avocado and remove all that delicious meaty flush. And you're gonna put it up in a large bowl. And what I'm using here, I'm gonna use like a nice serving uh, spoon uh, to mix all of my avocado. If there's any brown on your avocado, what you wanna do is you just simply want to Remove that and just, you know, discard it, put it in the garbage. Now I'm using three limes, the juice of three limes, and I'm gonna mix this all together. Now one of the things is, I don't like to over mix my avocado. I like to have little chunks of avocado uh, on the inside while I'm mixing. It just tastes so much better when you can taste avocado as opposed to having a creamy avocado. But if you want it creamy, it's up to you. I just love to see avocado, you know, to see chunks of it in my dish. So give it a good mix. 
and make sure you incorporate all that lime juice. What that lime juice does is it keeps your avocado from turning brown. Okay, now I'm going to, I'm cutting up one onion that I picked from my garden. It's really huge. So I'm only going to use a half of onion. What you're going to do is you're going to just chop this up very small. Add that to your avocado. I'm not going to mix it yet. I'm just going to add everything in there. It doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, if you want your onion cut even smaller, it's up to you. I like to keep my uh, avocado, my guacamole a little rustic. And I'm going to use uh, seven cloves of garlic. I'm going to chop this up very fine and I'm going to add this to my mixture. I'm going to add my Roman tomatoes that I've picked fresh from my garden also. What I'm doing is I'm cutting it in half, which, and then you just take your finger and you just simply scoop out the seeds in the garbage. This makes it so much easier instead of trying to like do a gourmet chef cut to remove the seeds. Just use your fingers and just get all those seeds out. Uh, you don't need them. And uh, what's really amazing about Roman tomatoes or t Roman tomatoes is the seeds come out pretty easy as opposed to when I'm using other tomatoes. I have to do a little bit more work with it, but not with the Romans. So um, I'm using three Roman tomatoes. Cut them up very fine and then add that also to your mixture. As you can tell, this is a lot of guacamole. It's only because when I make this, people, they just can't stop eating this. I'm going to be serving this with some delicious garlic bread, uh, which is going to be in the next episode. Okay, with my mammoth jalapeno, I'm just using a paring knife and I'm removing the seeds and then you can just, uh, just pull that out with your fingers and then just sort of scrape the rest of the seeds out. And then after you have scraped everything out, sometimes what I do is I give it just a little light wash if you can't get all the seeds out. I don't like to seize in because it brings too much heat. Uh, cut off the stems and just slice this up very fine. And you're going to add this also to your mixture. Now remember that fresh bunch of cilantro I picked from my garden? You're going to chop this up very fine also. You don't need the stems. It's up to you. Um, and then just add everything to your bowl. This is roughly about two cups of cilantro. And now you're going to give everything a really good mix. And you're gonna add salt to taste. Now the salt that I'm using is a it's a smoked gourmet salt. That's why everybody's always like, oh my god, your guacamole is so delicious. I like to have that little smoky taste in it. And then what I'm doing is I'm just simply at uh, putting everything in bowls that way I can refrigerate. As you can tell, this is a lot of guacamole, but it goes very fast. And then you are done and you're ready for your guests to have some nice, delicious, fresh guacamole. Give this a try. Uh, while I'm finishing this up, go ahead, uh, do me a favor while I'm uh, putting everything in the dish. You see that link below? Go ahead and push on the subscribe button. And next to the subscribe button, please click on um, the alert bell. And then alert better give you options. You can click all so you can stay up to date with all my latest tutorials as I post them. And also, please remember, give it a thumbs up. You know, don't give it a thumbs down. It sort of hurts my feeling. I'm like, I work hard to try to bring you guys some good, delicious dishes from my previous restaurant. So, um, and also leave a comment. I respond to all comments. So do leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Give this a try. And here is the final product. Doesn't that look delicious? And of course I haven't had any breakfast or lunch. I actually have my avocado toast right there and I'm ready to eat it. And I am excited. Doesn't that look divine? Mm. Guess, I'm telling you now, make it, just do it exactly the way I do it. The guests, your guests are gonna go crazy over this. 
Next up, I'll be making uh, not one, not two, but three different garlic breads. It's one spread, three garlic breads, three different ways. You don't want to miss this. This is a hit at every, all of my parties around the world. Until then, bye everyone. <laughs>